Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss 10 new Raspberry Pi Pico project ideas that you can try. So, let's get started. If you regularly work on your computer, you might know how some shortcuts can save your time. Various shortcut keypads are available on the internet, but this one is simple and easy to follow. This multifunctional control knob uses a rotary encoder that will help you to scroll horizontally while editing a video. But wait, that doesn't mean that you can't use it to control other features like brightness and volume. By pressing the encoder, you can switch between the modes, and by modifying the code you can simulate the button in the way you like. The hardware is enclosed inside a square 3D printed box, while a knob is placed at the top. The firmware uses CircuitPython, which is the developed version of MicroPython. An oscilloscope comes in handy whether you repair some electronics hardware or do some research. But, commercial oscilloscopes available in the market are not that economical. So, as a beginner, you can follow this project that requires a Pi Pico and a smartphone. The Scopy is an oscilloscope and logic analyzer, powered by your Android smartphone and Raspberry Pi Pico. The controls are similar to a standard oscilloscope, and you can even read multiple signals in the dual-channel mode. To test the oscilloscope, a signal generator is designed using Arduino and a rotary encoder. Signals are measured by the Pico, and the waveforms are displayed on the Android device. Using this app, you can measure the frequency up to 250 kHz, as this is the standard sampling frequency of Pi Pico. Different coffee brew methods require coffee, which is ground to a different coarseness. That means a cup of espresso and a cup of pour over needs different grind sizes. If you have a coffee grinder, you may know the difficulty of adjusting the knob for the perfect grind size. Apart from the fact that it is a tedious job, if you forget the knob's initial position, then you've most likely ruined the next cup of espresso you'll be having. A Raspberry Pi Pico deals with those issues by offering a more detailed user interface than the stock grinder. A DC motor turns the adjustment knob, while an OLED display shows the last few grinds automatically, which makes it easier to find the starting position of the knob and to obtain the perfect grind again. Do you want to level up your game of PCB design by working on high-level PCB projects? Or need features like remote working, advanced 3D viewing capability, and AMCAD? If yes then you must check out Altium Designer. Altium provides functions for users with all levels of experience and requirements. And before subscribing to Altium, you can use its free trial version by clicking on the link given in the description below. This tiny drone is designed with simplicity in mind. It involves a custom PCB, Raspberry Pi Pico, and an original Android-based app for controls. The drone can be programmed by either the RP2040 SDK or the Arduino IDE. It can support a six-axis inertial measurement unit that is used to measure orientation and acceleration forces. A barometer module measures air pressure. It uses a 4-amp coilless motor driver, which is capable of supporting up to four servos. It even has built-in Wi-Fi support. Moreover, you can add your own components to the drone, wire I2C or SPI sensors, but make sure to balance and watch the weight of the drone to ensure smooth flying. Have you ever tried to build an EEPROM using a microcontroller? If not, then you can learn to build one from this project. The keyboard of this old Apple IIe computer is made of switches and a matrix. Apart from the complexity of the circuit, it is a bit slow and bulky. The Pi Pico acts like a keyboard roam inside an Apple IIe. By using this, the output signal reacts very quickly as visible in the logic analyzer. It reduces the time taken by the original ROM chip to respond to output-enabled signal from 100 nanoseconds to 40 to 60 nanoseconds. The PIO code emulates the behavior of Apple IIe, the window in front is a serial connection for the PIO, and at the back is the composite capture of the Apple IIe. Pressing any key on the keyboard will generate the code of the last character sent over serial. In this project, you will learn how to connect a Raspberry Pi Pico to an original Nintendo gamepad and translate its input and outputs to something that your computer can understand. To do so, cut the Nintendo extension cord and connect the standard 5 pins of the controller to these GPIOs of the Raspberry Pi Pico. In the code, the collection of button status is linked to the buttons on the Nintendo. You can even switch between keyboard and gamepad mode by selecting select, start, and up at the same time. 
After running the code, connect the controller to the RetroPie, map your controls, and you are ready to play your favorite games on the RetroPie setup. Pong is one of the classic games. There are plenty of projects available to play this game, and one of them is the Pico Pong project, which includes gesture controls and a custom VGA output. A Raspberry Pi Pico generates a 640x480, 60Hz monochrome VGA signal, which gives the proper retro look for Pong. The paddle on the left side of the screen is computer-controlled. The player paddle on the right side is controlled by two infrared LED pairs. The IR LED shines upward onto a mirror, held in place by a quad hands, which reflects the IR light back onto the receiver. When that signal is interrupted by a hand, it triggers the Pico via GPIO to move the player paddle. One receiver moves the paddle up on the screen, and the other moves the paddle down. This is Pico Hash, a small version of the humanoid robot. It uses 8MG995 servos for arm and leg movement, and 1SG90 servo for head movement. A 1.3 inches I2C OLED display expresses all the emotions of the robot clearly. The complete robot is powered by a 12V lithium-ion rechargeable battery. Using a buck converter and a potentiometer, the 12V is reduced to 6V in supply to a 16-channel servo drive. This drive powers the Pi Pico as well as the servo motors. Both the servo drive and OLED display are controlled by I2C communication. Despite its small size, the robot has a great range of motion. It can walk forward, backward, or sideways. It can even entertain you with its spectacular dance moves. This is a 4-digit passcode lock that can be opened using a stepper motor. The numbers are entered by rotating the gear on the stepper motor, while an LED is used to display the numbers. Rotating the gear in the clockwise direction changes the value of the selected digit, while rotating the gear in the anti-clockwise direction shifts the position of the selected digit. The particular digit selected at a time is indicated by a decimal. Once you have typed the code, move the decimal to the extreme left of the display. At this point, the Pico matches the code with the one stored in its memory. A green LED glows to indicate if the typed code is correct, otherwise not. If you want to make a standalone crypto mining rig, then try this project. It uses four Raspberry Pi Pico boards to mine Duino coins, while a Raspberry Pi 4 acts as a host. A 3.5-inch touchscreen displays the terminal window necessary for mining, thus omitting the need to connect a laptop externally. A white 3D printed frame accommodates the electronics in a systematic way. To initiate the mining, open the terminal window and launch the Python file. Enter the port names with which you want to mine Duino coins. On successful completion, the mining gets started. To view the mining status, open the Duino coin dashboard. As visible in the dashboard, the four Pico miners give a combined hash rate of 11.65 kilo hashes per second. At this rate, you can mine around 10 to 20 Duino coins in a day. If you've made it till here, then drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Feel free to share your project ideas with us. Thanks for watching.